Hello, my name is Ikello Herod, and this is the Future Fiction Academy. I'm a fiction engineer at the Academy, and today, <laughs> well, we're celebrating yet another day of ship miss. So we're going to be playing around today with, well, chat gpt integrated into notion and notes and maybe even we'll play maybe even around with some xcode i probably am lying about that let's jump right in all right so now we are inside of notion and you say to yourself, Notion, but yes, Notion. It, it's because ChatGPT is now integrated into, oh, so many things. If I hit the option space bar on a Mac, then it just pops up ChatGPT. But if I hit shift option one, then you'll notice down here that it's saying working with Notion. That's a completely different change right here. So working inside of Notion means that you can actually do things and it'll look inside of your Notion, tell you stuff. I'll give you a good example. What's on this page? And it's looking through everything, saying some, okay, all right. It's telling me about all of the responsibilities and stuff like that. Okay, so let's say I want to create a YouTube video around some of the concepts inside of this page. I need you to give me some suggestions for YouTube videos, and I need them to be about five. I need about five of them. It's going through and it's looking at these concepts, deciding great ways for me to use, and it's really breaking down all of the different ways that I could do that. Now, if I wanted to, can I break that out into a bigger chat? I bet I could. The author's role, that sort of thing. Yes, looks like it really came up with some, with five comprehensive ideas with break multiple breakdowns of ways to use them. Let's uh, just take a quick peek at a couple of them. Mastering the art of AI prompting how to take full control of Raptorite. Love that idea. Raptorite 101, everything you need to know to write like a pro with AI. Raptorite secrets, how to cut costs and still produce incredible content. That's a great one. The author's role in AI-assisted writing. How to stay in control of your story. That's a good one. And system prompts versus custom prompts. The key to unlocking Raptor Wright's full potential. Hmm, I've got a lot of really good choices here. Maybe I go with mastering the art of AI prompting. So we'll just say, Let's go with one. Then it starts breaking down a full thing. Let's let's read a little bit of this. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on for this bit of smallness. Are you tired of getting meh results from AI writing tools? You're not alone. But what if you what if I told you that the problem isn't the AI, it's you? Don't worry though. Today I'm gonna show you how to level up your prompting skills and turn Raptor Write into your personal writing assistant that actually listens to you. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have pro level skills that most writers don't even know exist. Oh, hit that like and subscribe button. Yo, oh, speaking of which, do me a favor. If this is adding value to your life, please do me a favor and like and subscribe. I would absolutely love it. Come on, y'all. Let's get back into it. So there's the call to action, on-screen visuals, and the whole nine yards. It has a full breakdown of how this video could go. I'm more of a mem minimalist when I do my videos, but it's not too bad. And it uses all the references inside. This is great. Ikello stands, Ikello, Ikello, Ikello. Uh, why this script works, high engagement. Oh, this is all great stuff. Now we're in notes. What we're going to do is we're going to hit shift option one. We are inside of notes. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna start a new chat and we're inside of notes with that new chat. 
I have a uh, series of notes here, maybe some ideas for some scenes, Skylar's run from the dark, new limbs in the dark, all of this stuff, okay? It doesn't matter what it is. What it matters is that chat GPT can see it now. What is this about? And now it's just given me an entire breakdown of Skylotica. Skylotica follows Skylar Sky, a young, pragmatic woman who is thrust from her simple grounded world into a high stakes journey involving advanced technology, secret ta think tank organization and interstellar exploration. What begins as a personal struggle to escape her father's debts with a ruthless loan shark spirals into a grand narrative about human evolution, extraterrestrial contact, and Earth's place in a larger cosmic scheme. Right there is very much what this particular uh, tidbit is about. It's very much about all of this stuff. So what I want to do is I want to do a little analysis. Of how can the story be improved? It's going out to chat GPT. Seems like it takes a click to do all of this back and forth, but that's fine with me as long as it's working. Deep in Skylar's arc, Skylar starts off, apply those critiques to the story and rewrite. And this is a thorough breakdown of how the story, think about this. You are working inside of notes or you're working inside of Xcode or anything. As a matter of fact, let me show you that. If you are sitting here on the desktop, everything is going hunky dory and you're on the desktop. All you have to do is hit the option space bar, chat GPT pops up from its last conversation. If it's still working inside of notes, you could stop that, start a whole new conversation. That conversation could literally be about anything, about character development, about outline development, about anything. There are a lot of implications for a lot of things that we have coming down the pipe for how it's used with things like Xcode. I'm telling you, the implications of being able to inject a large language model of this caliber inside of your writing material that isn't API based or anything like that is truly a step in the right direction. You're able to read your documents. It looks at everything inside of there. You can do that with just about any document you have. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you all of the documents that you can now use. If I hit option spacebar, it pops up a little itty bitty chat GPT. That little bitty chat GPT is there all the time just sits in the background all just waiting to be accessed and once you do that when you click down here you have access to the two things that are active right now you can work with notion or notes but there are four inactive apps i have xcode on here i also have script editor and terminal and text edit and i could interact with text edit, build prompts inside of text edit or Xcode and output them to anything I wanted to. It would be literally glorious. These are the four, uh, these are the six apps that it works with right now, but not too long in the future, it's going to be controlling lots and lots of parts of your computer. It'll be able to look at things and at some point you should be able to have it look at Chrome or Safari. Safari will become way more valuable to me then. I tell you that much. I love Safari, but I, I, I wish that everything didn't work on Chrome because it's a bloated mess. But since everything does work on Chrome, I'm stuck. I'm in here and I have to deal with it. These apps are going to expand. They're going to, they're going to be a lot more options in the future. And I'm telling you what, right now I can use Notion. I can use Notes. I can use Xcode. I could use Text Edit. All of those right now say all kinds of interesting and wonderful things to me. They say to me that, oh boy, are we in for a high time 
in the city tonight. It's going to be very exciting. This is just the beginning. I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, but this is the worst that AI is ever going to be. How do I know that? Because I go to the Future Fiction Academy, that's why, where we have standalone classes, a whole ton of them coming down the pipe, I think like one or two a month or something like that for the next, and so you'll get 24 comprehensive standalone classes, one of which I will be working on. I also just released my introduction to Raptor Write class. It has some of the stuff from the video that I did on this channel, but also a couple of sections that aren't in there. You should definitely go over to the Future Fiction Academy com and sign up for the mastermind which i'm pretty sure the video is coming out on the last day of the mastermind sign up if you want to sign up for the mastermind this is your last day that you could do that 30 days for free it's usually seven 30 days for free and then we are closing down the mastermind pretty much for the foreseeable future we will have about we will have a lot of people in the mastermind and they all need a lot of help and we are all there to help them. The mastermind isn't just a thing where you learn a bunch of stuff. It's also a place where you get to collaborate with other people and help other people learn so that we can all lift each other up because we need a lot of people out there y'all learning and teaching how to write with artificial intelligence. So come on over to the Future Fiction Academy, and um, you'll like it. I think you'll like it, because the water's fine. The water is just fine. All right, my name's Ikello Herod. I'm a fiction engineer at the Future Fiction Academy, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in class.